Akihito Tsukushi created back in 2012 the manga Made in Abyss, a series about a young girl who finds and befriends a humanoid robot as they ascend into the famous abyss in search of her mother. As of this video, the series is still ongoing and has received an animated adaptation as well as two recap movies and an upcoming movie sequel. I first got involved with the abyss after seeing wonderfully rendered backgrounds on my computer. I became intrigued, obsessed with finding out just what the heck this thing was, this abyss. When I learned about the manga and then the anime, I quickly picked up the Blu-ray and immersed myself in this mysterious world filled with wonderful Ghibli-esque scenery, beautiful, majestic, dark, twisted all the same. The anime has 13 episodes, and in that short amount of time, we do get to meet a wonderfully colorful cast. Rico, an energetic, hyperactive go-getter that at 12 years of age wants to imitate the stories that she has heard of her missing mother, a legendary cave raider named Liza the Annihilator. Her mother disappeared in the abyss 10 years ago. She lives in an orphanage and is waiting anxiously for her opportunity to explore the infamous abyss. Reg. An amnesiac robot with the appearance of a human boy. With his mechanical arms, he is quite the wrecking machine. Kind, yet reserved. When we meet him, he develops a unique relationship with Rico. Along the way, we meet several other characters. Orphans, cave raiders and such, that fuel the story and enrich this mysterious world. You see, the actual abyss in this story is a character onto itself. It shapes the town of Orth and molds its citizens into a rather orthodox living style. Our main town is located on an island in the Sea of Belouska. I hope I said that right. Basically, this town lives and thrives for the journey into this abyss and the treasures that may lie there. So it is a town focused on finding what the heck is down there. This town surrounds a strange, gigantic hole that goes deep into the earth, and inside it, many creatures, artifacts, and remnants of civilizations long gone. They await our explorers. It is comprised of several levels, each more deadlier than the one before. Strange creatures inhabit the abyss, and even stranger phenomena occur which can lead to dangerous peril, and even death. The deeper the explorers or cave raiders go, the tougher it is to return. You see, they are affected by a curse, the curse of the abyss, a mysterious ailment that strikes people as they ascend. Naturally, human curiosity will not let things such as curses and death affect their need to explore. The abyss is massive and intricately detailed, each layer composed of biological diversity from flora and fauna in many ways for life to thrive. Look, I won't spoil you with the details, but our story begins with a girl craving adventure and getting back that which was lost to her, her mother. In this journey, she will meet many people face many dangers and strange places that will test her will, strength, and resolve. The abyss can be whatever the person wants it to be, a beautiful world, a dangerous cavern. It can be life, or it can be death. Explorers or cave raiders facing the curse have to be careful if they want to survive. You see, raiding these levels can become an addiction for them, engrossed in the thrill of discovery. They can lose their way and become the very thing they are seeking out. The descent and ascension is torturous for many characters in this world, and to try and fight it can be even worse. This series is a wonderful ride that I was happy to take. It is a dark, twisted, beautiful fantasy that pushes our emotions to a limit. The author world builds a contained space that has endless possibilities. There is a vast, rich history in the town and the characters we meet. This place has an otherworldly presence, but yet a familiar one. Its characters are not rigid, they are molded by the effects of the abyss, and can be quite layered. Our leads are downright lovable, and will win you over with their unique charm and enthusiasm. However, be wary, this tale is not for the faint of heart. This mature rated title is filled with dark themes hidden throughout, as well as violence, gore, and strong imagery. At its heart, though, this 13-episode series is a fascinating metaphor for the human condition and our willingness to push forward against all odds. Like Rico, we are all staring into an abyss of uncertainty, our futures, and how we proceed from there. 
We have that explorer's spirit wanting to venture into the unknown and reach for the stars. But along the way, we must realize that life and the world around us can and will humble us down. We mustn't let that stop us though. Instead, it should encourage us to keep finding our way. I normally don't review things with a number or a passing grade, instead I just tell you how good it is, and Made in Abyss is quite good indeed. Worthy of your time and enjoyment. This story isn't done, however. We still have more to go, and the wait can't be painful. But stick with it. Drop Dead Gorgeous Art, a fantastic world filled with interesting characters, and an abyss that is actually worth gazing into. See what I did there? This show is a winner in my book and highly recommend it. Have you seen Made in Abyss? Tell me down below what you thought, and if you haven't, what is your favorite action adventure series? Remember, no spoilers please, there might be people that haven't seen it yet and I would hate to have them be spoiled by a YouTube video. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to A Week in Geekdom. You can follow me on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Just type A Week in Geekdom and I am probably there for you. Alright, I have got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.